Hello painters. Welcome to my studio. I'm Beth Wheeler and this is Studio Beth Shan. Today we're going to be working with um, some interesting paints. As you know, using opaque paints in conjunction with semi-transparent and transparent paints will add depth to your um, acrylic pores. So I'm working with Earth Safe Finishes acrylic base that will be for the opaque paint and the eco pouring medium that will be for uh, the semi-transparent and the transparent and uh, we're going to be using their earth safe finishes pigment and I've been practicing this name for weeks so I want you to know this is quinacridone magenta quinacridone mm -hmm. It's a very pretty um, magenta. I'm looking forward to using it in this. First thing we're going to do is shake the mediums and the pigment up because we want um, the liquid to be the same consistency at the bottom of the bottle as it is at the top. So we're going to start with the acrylic base and put a little squirt in here. and one drop of the medium of the uh, pigment if I can get just one drop there we go Oop, that's a little more than one drop isn't that a pretty magenta we're going to mix that up really well and add four parts of the pouring medium and I'm just eyeballing it. It doesn't have to be exact. And it's um, looking lighter because it's been diluted by the uh, pouring medium, but it's going to uh, dry darker because the pouring medium will dry clear. Okay, so that's our opaque paint. Next, we're going to do the semi-transparent and again I'm going to try for one drop there that was kind of a lot a big one drop and since I know I can't get just part of a drop or a very small drop Instead of using the pigment on this one, I'm going to take a little bit out of the semi-transparent and put it in here. Um, it's so concentrating, concentrated that um, just a, a portion of a drop goes a long way. Okay, so there's my opaque, semi-transparent, transparent, and this one... I'm going to use just the medium and some glitter. It's hard to know how much glitter to put in there. I think I'm also going to add some glitter to that semi-transparent. See what happens. Ooh, those two are pretty together. Okay, so these are our four paints. What I'm going to do is put a line of each one of them on this tile. The tile has a line of black paint that um, I've allowed to dry and then we're going to do this and when it dries we should not be able to see any black through that pink through the magenta it should be a solid we should be able to see some of the black through the semi-transparent we should be able to see the black 
well through this one. And through this one. So we're going to let that dry and um, I'll be back um, after this dries and we'll test our theory. Okay, our paint is dried on the tile and here we are. This is the black line that we put down first. Here is the opaque and it's not as opaque as I had expected. I was a little surprised at that. Um, this is the semi-transparent with the glitter in it and that's just about what we expected. This is the transparent which is exactly what we expected. You can see the, um, the black line clearly underneath that. And then the last one is um, the glitter paint in um, just the pouring medium. And again, that is uh, completely transparent except for the glitter. What you didn't see was I made a little canvas with a, a miniature squ uh, smash on each one of these. Um, unfortunately, the video didn't survive. So, but I wanted you to see, this is what the um, opaque looked like when it's dispersed on the canvas a little bit. This is the semi-transparent with the glitter. And I really like it, it has a nice shine to it. This is the transparent, which is just about what I expected. This is the glitter. Okay, the glitter. And then I did a small pour in the center of uh, the canvas and then did a mallet smash on it. We're gonna do a mallet smash in video number seven, so that will be the next one. Um, and I'm sorry you didn't get to see this one, but you'll get to see the next one. And uh, it has a nice um, contrast between the opaque, the semi-transparent, and the transparent. So this turned out exactly as I thought it would. And that's great. That means you can make any color of opaque, semi-transparent, transparent, or transparent with glitter that you want. That really gives you a lot of options, thanks to Earth Safe Finishes. So I'll see you uh, in the next video for a mallet smash. Have a great day. These videos are brought to you by Earth Safe Finishes. Please click like and subscribe in the box below, and there is a link to uh, the Earth Safe Finishes Eco Pour kit in the comment section below. There are scads of different techniques in acrylic pouring. If you'd like to see some other examples, check out my website. There's a link in the comment section below to www.studiobethshan.com.